Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of Eye on Icon. Today we have Alex from Vibervid with us and we are going to deep dive into everything that is to know about Vibervid from actually what the platform and the protocol is and then how, you know, what, what's been proposed as part of the CPS proposal to, to get what they're integrating with Icon. But before we do all of that, welcome to the show, Alex. How are you today? Fez, Icon Graffer, thank you guys for having me over. I appreciate it. I'm looking forward to chatting and I'm really excited to kind of get out there in the Icon community, kind of like I already have uh, over on Twitter and I'm loving it, man. So uh, this podcast has been kind of like the next step. So I feel like officially integrated into the community and I'm really excited. I <laughs> love to hear it. Uh, we're, we're really happy to have you on. Icon Graffer, I can't not ask how you're going. How you been? Uh, I'm doing well. Just, uh, you know, getting more and more excited for the launch of Balance. And obviously the, the markets haven't been super great lately. But, uh, you know, it's just, it's it's another podcast where we get to interview someone building an icon. And over the long term, that's going to matter most is more and more people building more and more useful things. So I'm certainly excited to, to hear more about the project. I couldn't agree more. Okay, let's dive right in. So Alex, you know, rather than asking you how you got into crypto, I'm more interested to know, tell us what made you want to build something in the blockchain space, because I'm sure that journey, that tale will entail how you got involved in crypto in the first place. <laughs> well, yeah, it, it all kind of goes together. And for me, it was really uh, getting in like most people got in after that 2017 18 bull run and i kind of was just trying to just make money right like most people get when they get started but i started looking into things more and more and more started looking into these platforms what type of solutions they can provide and i've always been very passionate about the music scene and when I realized, I'm like, man, why don't they implement crypto and blockchain technology when it comes to music type platforms? And that's where my head started turning a little bit. And I'll tell you a little story um, about what really kind of inspired me. So um, I'm a big fan of like rock alternative emo music from like the early 2000s. And uh, one of my uh, buddies, his name is uh, Chris Caraba from Dashboard Confessional. Um, so a, a lot of people know him. He's pretty popular. He's been on MTV. He was on the Spider-Man 2 soundtrack. And I noticed he made a different band down the road. And um, I would talk to him. And pretty much he'd kind of give the hint that like, hey, you know, we're not ultra famous. We're not millionaires or anything like that. And I was just kind of baffled because I was like, man, this guy, uh, he's been on MTV. He's been on the Spider-Man soundtrack. Like, He's got to be rich. <laughs> so once I kind of realized how much musicians are actually making, that really inspired me to kind of get into the space. And uh, Vibravid is not just a music platform, but it's kind of like an all-in-one thing, a video and audio platform. It's just for content creators in general. And I saw it as a really good opportunity to be able to uh, leverage the technologies and uh, really make something special where people can not only market themselves, but have extra opportunities to generate another source of income. So why don't you um, go in to kind of just give us, a, a, I guess, a big picture view of what Vibrovid is, um, kind of how you came up with it and what exactly, uh, you know, what exactly it does? Yeah, so Steve, our CEO, came up with the name Vibravid. So, you know, vibration for the headphones and vid for the video. So you put those oh, together. Cool. <laughs> yeah. So a lot of people don't get it. It goes over their heads. But once you hear it, you're like, oh, yeah, it makes total sense. Uh, so the whole idea was being able to have a platform that serves both audio and video. And the real proof of concept thing that we've uh, managed to do is what we call our bounties. And this is the thing that I'm most excited about when it comes to uh, our platform because you have many musicians and many content creators you'll see some great fantastic content but they'll have like 10 views 15 views like they need more marketing and obviously marketing costs a lot of money and it's not really ever guaranteed so we thought well hey what if we you just straight up 
pay people a small amount to watch your content or listen to your content. And that's exactly where we came up with this concept uh, using, you know, peer-to-peer based technology, blockchain, smart contract is basically having someone uh, you. So for instance, you'd give a bounty, let's see, a uh, hundred coins, right? And you want to split out that hundred coins to a hundred different people. So uh, they'll go onto the platform, they'll listen to your song or watch your video and they'll earn a token uh, right after um, completing that without uh, manipulating the video, right? So without fast forwarding it, without putting it on mute, nothing like that. So that was what really kind of, you know, sparked the interest. The The other thing was, you know, creating an unbiased platform, uh, you know, uh, with the whole political scene and the censorship from crypto to, you know, bo- both sides of the political spectrum. Uh, nowadays, there's kind of like this fear that you're going to get kicked off YouTube or whatever if you say the wrong thing. So that was another passion of ours because, you know, we really do believe in, you know, freedom of speech without without getting political. You know, we, we don't care about anyone's political affiliation. So that was another big motivation. And then, you know, the other part of the platform is really um, – being able to be flexible when it comes to, you know, what do you want to charge for your content? If you feel like your content is worth, you know, $10, we'll charge $10 for it. So uh, we, we've combined all these features and now we're working on NFTs because that's such an amazing uh, market to get into and a great area of opportunity. So we've got a lot going on right now. So um, why why did you pick... Uh, you know, I, I think you guys are working with some other chains and stuff like that. Why? Uh, what drew you to Icon? Why are you guys uh, looking to roll this out on Icon? Um, I guess, yeah. What drew you in that direction? Man, uh, it's it, that that is a long story, and I'm not going to tell the whole version of it. I will tell a condensed version, um, but it's it's very deep and very interesting. But uh, I will give a shout out to our guy David W. He's an iconist, and he's been an Icon faithful since uh <laughs> we he got betrayed by other chains and you know he he would explain it to me but we were just kind of like so wrapped into uh you know focused on what we were doing that we didn't pay attention at first and then he told he would i think he told me two or three times and finally I was like okay let me look into an icon because there's just so many blockchains right so why icon is a dang good question and when I learned about how the governance structure was and how the decentralized uh, it is compared to all these other blockchains, and I'll, I'll just be very straightforward, ones like EOS, ones like Tron, that they give an appearance of decentralization, but they're really not. They're very centralized. It's not really a fair system. Um, that's the number one thing that attracted me to ICON, their governance structure and also the fact that they're looking to be interoperable. Because when we first built, we started building on Tron's blockchain because it was, you know, simple, very similar to ETH, but cheaper. Um, You know, we said, okay, this is great. But with all these chains coming on board, we said, man, you know, how are these people going to get this type of token and then use our token? It's very it can get complicated. So why don't we give people the freedom of connecting whatever the wallet they want? And then when I saw Icon and the uh, interoperable features that they're going to release, that just completely sold me. So it sold us really, (laughs) not just me. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that that's great, and it, I loved um, I love actually how you mentioned that you explored other chains, and one of the put offs was the governance structures because you realized how control centrally controlled they were, and then, and then you shifted back. Brilliant, no, love it, and it, that's a great <laughs> great takeaway. Oh, it's it's funny, man, because um, Min actually uh, retweeted something that I said. I put here are my favorite chains and why. And I put Icon's uh, governance structure, and he's like, he's like, 
I'll take it, but uh, we also aiming to be the best interoperable system. He said something like that. And I was like, oh my God, how do I forget that? That was like <laughs> the main thing. <laughs> and I'm like, here's the founder of Icon actually retweeting. And I was like, I felt like I was a little bit underwhelming there. I should have said a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, very quickly then, uh, what your vibe of it is, is a platform like your YouTube or Odyssey. However, um, essentially decentralized so from what i understand it's not just um blockchain operated but the way you in the background all the data and everything's stored stored on us data is actually using um the blockchain um aspect of it which one was it um uh, yeah like a like a decentralized storage system that's exactly right yeah so so okay I- i'm going to be very straightforward with this and um people are going to learn quite a bit of why certain things do and don't work in regards to this type of uh, decentralized system. So yes, we used a decentralized protocol for storage Mm -hmm. and it's going to play a big role for um, NFTs. We're going to use it the way it's supposed to be used. But the way that it works for streaming content on on demand, it's really not uh, conducive because you're counting on other people to seed you uh, pieces of the file and basically you put it together and you get a streaming experience. But what happens when those people aren't online to feed you the file? Or what if there's a new file and not that many people have uh, shared it around, not that many people have a piece of it? Um, You're going to have a lot of lag and a lot of downtime. So in regards to the decentralized storage system, uh, we use it, but we don't broadcast that way. With the NFTs, it'll be a little bit different because that's really just uh, putting an image or it's not really such an on-demand type thing. Uh, Like if you were streaming a song or a movie or any type of video. Okay. No, I appreciate that. That's good. And it's good to clear the air there because I know... I know this is probably something a lot of people start touting when they're building platforms like this, but um, the reality of the situation is that there are certain uh, restrictions with the tech there. So it's it's good to know. Um, now, okay, so you, you mentioned, can you talk a little bit more about, uh, you mentioned some features, you know, the bounties and stuff. So so can, can we explore that a bit more? Like give a bit more context in terms of, say, your platform is for, everyone right it's not just for musicians so it can be um eye on icon our podcast it could be just someone who wants to make a random video um or it could be a company that wants to ensure that their um, video clip or song or whatever they've created definitely gets views and not by bots and etc etc um so can can you talk to us a bit more about that how the platform supports that and what you do that's unique yeah, absolutely. So you have many of your traditional aspects, you know, as far as, um, you know, music content, video content, audio content, everyone, everything's separated into categories. Um, you've got your profile, uh, all that fun stuff. What makes us very unique is that we are an actual uh, DAP, right? A decentralized application, or, or we're getting there. Our, our beta will ha- will. I'll be able to officially say that we're a DAP because we'll be able to externally connect our wallet into our profile. Um, so you'll be able to interact with Vibravid in a 100% completely decentralized manner um, in regards to you know most aspects of the platform. So when it comes to bounties, basically um, the way that it's going to be working. We have a, a, a version of it up already, but the way that it w- ideally is going to work is a smart contract base where the content creator will put their money into the smart contract. Um, we have all the parameters on the system level. And then, you know, when someone finishes watching the video, they can claim their bounty and they're good to go. Uh, we also have a nice tipping feature on the platform. So not only can you tip other content creators, but a content creator could tip someone who commented on their content, you know, Hey, I really like what uh, this person said about the ion icon podcast. So let me go ahead and tip them some beats coin or some ICX. <laughs> Promote that man. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Great. So 
Well, it, yeah, so so there's um, there's definitely its traditional things, and then we got a couple of you know nuggets of uh, really unique things uh, in regards to implementing the decentralized aspects and the crypto aspects. Um, I think where we're heading is going to be great because we kind of want to share the wealth as people start making um, money on the platform and income and fee income starts being generated. We want to give that back to uh, the community of holders. Shout out to our sponsors at Icon Bet. Open source, decentralized gaming, no deposits, play straight from your wallet. Icon Bet, made by the players, for the players. So let's let's talk about the tokenomics of of your coin. Um, you know, what, you know, a what is it used for uh, specifically? Um, do you have plans to kind of evolve it over time? And then also, how does it how does it work with the other chains that you guys are um, supporting or working with, especially when it comes to potential cross chain capabilities? Right. So right now, our goal is to be fully interoperable within the chains that we work with. Uh, there's still some, you know, technology to be created and developed on the other blockchain side, but we're really excited to use Icon, and the goal is really have people be able to s store their Beats coin wherever they want, whether it's on Icon or any of the other chains that we work with. Uh, in regards to the tokenomics, we kind of see ourselves like a like a BNB, right? Like a platform token. You go on uh, Binance and you place a trade and you use BNB, they'll take a little bit from there, but your fee is less. So we have the same aspect when it comes to uh, transactions on Vibravid, whether it's a bounty or paid content uh, in the future NFTs, uh, using Beatscoin will lower the cost for the user or the content creator. Uh, another way that we've, another way that we, have really added some value to the token uh, and its utility is by staking. So not only are we just giving more Beats coin to the stakers, but we're also sharing the transactional, uh, from the transactional revenue that we'll be generating on the platform in the future, we're gonna be sharing uh, that in the form of rewards. So based on how much you hold, we're gonna be sending you out rewards and all the native tokens that we earn um, uh, that, that we earn from. So, you know, if we got, uh, you know, a thousand ICX in the bank, you know, 20,000 beats coin, uh, 5,000 TRX, 10,000 SIS, whatever, like all that's going to be distributed back to uh, the people who are staking beats coin. So that's where we really find a value of that. And I got that idea from uh, a couple of the um, I know it sounds bad, but the gambling platforms, <laughs> I know you guys have icon bet. That's a popular one. Uh, the gambling platforms, you know, they, they give back to their community. Right. And then also from crypto.com where they have these cards and you have certain levels and based on the level, you get extra benefits. So that's exactly, uh, what we plan to do, uh, in regards to the tokenomics of Beatscoin. Well, icon but do sponsor our show they're brilliant and you know i'm a proud owner of the casino <laughs> so I, I love it um but no look that, that that that's really good and i actually wanted to okay let, let's let's step back walk us through and i i, I love using if icon because it's very relatable because you're listening to it right the user <laughs> the listener everyone's yeah. listening to it so talk me through I have put on, I want to understand the um, rewards that the staking gets back. I want to understand that component. So I uh, take, I uh, put up uh, the latest episode of Eye on Icon. I really want to get the word out there. So you know what I, I say, I talk to Icon Graph. I'm like, let's, let's splurge big on this episode. I put 500 ICX aside as, um, from what I understand, a bounty, right? So mm -hmm. I, as the publisher, the content creator, me and I can graph we put 500 ICX there. Talk me through what happens there and how then that gets paid out to the listeners and how it goes to the stakers. Perfect. Okay. So we'll have, so you'll put a, let's use a thousand. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Easier for me to do the math. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So you have a thousand and it's for, uh, a, a thousand users, right? A thousand listens. So technically, uh, a thousand people would be able to qualify for the uh, 
for that IC, that one ICX reward. Um, but on the front end, what we would do is the system would reserve a percentage for us. Uh, right now, we're looking at probably about 10%. So really, you're giving your bounty, you're actually giving out 900 mm-hmm. ICX to the people. And then that extra 100 ICX goes to us. And then we will then distribute probably half of that over into the rewards pool. So that other half goes to uh, Vibervid for obviously maintaining and, hmm. you know, its own profit, right? Operational costs, etc. Okay. Uh, exactly. Yeah. And that's where the staking component comes in, obviously. Only if the coin is staked um, will you actually get those dividends. Right, right. That's uh, phase two. Okay, so now let's say you're someone who has uh, staked Beats coin, and if you're, and we're gonna have different levels, a uh, diamond level, a gold level, and a silver level, and the diamond level will get a certain percentage of those rewards. This the gold level will get a certain percentage, and the silver level will get another percentage. So basically, you're incentivized to hold more because you're going to be. Uh, earning a higher portion of the rewards that we're distributing back to the stakers. Yep. Okay. Yeah. The levels. Yep. Encourage people to hold and keep building their bags, and, and they get rewarded for it. Okay. That's good. Uh, that that's really helped clear the picture for me. Um, and, right. and and just to really clear the air there, that is not the only reason to use the platform. You don't need to put bounties. Uh, content creators don't need to put up any collateral, money, etc. They can just publish as they as you would on youtube etc right 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 that's the beautiful thing that you don't have to be a crypto expert you know you could be a complete noob and it'll be so easy to create a wallet you know you go in if i'm a crypto noob and i'm using vibravid i might discover it one or two ways you know i might go in as a content creator wanting to just upload content And then I'm going to say, oh, what are these bounty things? Oh, so look, someone tipped me. And then on the user side, let's say you're just going to watch videos or listen to music, then, you know, they might click on a bounty video. And if they don't have a wallet set up, it says, you're going to get a little pop up. Hey, do you want to earn free crypto? Create a wallet. And, you know, once they register on the platform, um, if they don't have their own wallet, they're a noob, they're just going to click on, you know, generate wallet. Hey, this is your icon wallet. Here's your a uh, private key or key phrase, write this down. You're the only one who has access to it. We'll explain it very well. And boom, we got another holder. <laughs> awesome. Love it. So I, I may just, um, I want to ask this as well. So, you know, we, we didn't really talk about this, but obviously you've had a token sale, all that you have an established community, don't you at the moment? Cause you've got a MVP out the door, but at the moment you're working quite hard to, to do a complete overhaul and refresh of the site. Um, but how big is your community currently that hold the coin? Yeah. So we had, uh, so you know how crypto is, it's very emotionally driven, right? Mm. And I'm not going to focus on anything negative here, but, uh, you know, when we were raising money, uh, it was in the middle of a bear market. So things didn't go too well. You know, the token price didn't moon like a lot of people expected. And, you know, many people kind of lost, I guess, that steam. But we've got over 30,000 token holders. It might be close to 40,000 now. Mm. Uh, and, uh, We've got about 10,000 users on the Vibervid platform. Uh, but when we launched the MVP, uh, we found some proof of concepts and then we found some areas of opportunity, a lot of areas of opportunity. And that's why we decided to kind of, you know, pause the uh, invitation of, or, or really the marketing. Like we don't want too many people going on Vibervid in, in that state that it was in. Because, you know, it was a platform that, you know, people are like, okay, this is kind of cool. And then they probably wouldn't go back on it again. Now the way we're building it with its new beautiful design and with all these cool features that we have coming out, uh, it, we, we really feel like it's a platform that people will go to and people will stay on. So that's when we're really going to start, you know, pushing things uh, in regards to marketing and getting more users on board. But uh I, I really think that it's it's a great opportunity. Um, you know, obviously we want to shoot for 
being the next YouTube, but this can also be a very, very uh, niche space. And there's nothing wrong with niches. There's a lot of profit in niches, a lot of benefits for many people. And I think we can be one of those in the blockchain space and provide a lot of value in so many different ways. So I, I did have, I've just lost my train of thought now, but uh, I wanted to quickly <laughs> follow it up with, um, yeah, it's gone. That's okay. It, it'll come back to me. <laughs> um, okay. So uh, th that's great. Uh, I, I really like, I knew this and I wanted, I wanted this called out because you do have a big, a passionate community of holders right and um when this is the point i knew it would come back to me so can you tell us how soon are you expecting the overhaul of the site to happen and go live what, what are your timelines around that yeah so we just uh, I'm, I'm super excited because we just added two new developers to our team and a social media manager so that's gonna take a big load off of steve and i and um, get development going a little bit faster um our UI is it's done. Uh, we changed some things from a server setup, and now uh, having a little couple hiccups uh, in regards to um, connecting everything. Um, so it's taking a little bit longer. So I would say in about two weeks, uh, we should have a new and improved, beautiful UI and site that you can use both on the mobile side and the desktop side. Um, our integration with Icon is going to take about two months. And um, we're also working on changing our bounty structure into that smart contract that I was telling you guys about. Uh, at that point, uh, you'll be able to connect the extension wallets. Um, so I know Icon has an extension. Uh, you'll be able to use mobile browsers like uh, Clever's wallet. So I'm, I'm really excited about that because that's just going to open the door to so many more uh, new users. Can you, can, you, can you tell us a bit more about... so? Obviously, you mentioned this icon wallet integration. So, what, what once the UI and everything's done, what is the icon component that you're building out? Uh, I think I think now we know enough about Viveavid, what the platform is, all the changes you're making, how it's evolved, the tokenomics. Okay, so so tell us icon and how how you envision the current first stage going and what you have planned, what you hope to keep building via icon. Right. So here's what you can expect once the development is done of integrating Icon. Uh, Icon will kind of be the default wallet, the first one that you see there. And when you join Vibravid, you'll be invited to create a wallet. So you'll hit that generate button and then boom, you've got Icon there and all the information that you need in regards to, you know, how ICX works and all that stuff. And then once that is completed, the next phase is to merge over our bounty smart contract and uh, possibly our staking contract as well into you know Icon's blockchain. From my understanding, uh, Icon is working on a virtual machine, so that's going to make things super easy. Um, but as soon as the Icon wallet integration is done, you'll be able to pay in ICX you'll be able to tip in ICX as well, and you'll be able to transact in ICX. Uh, the bounties will not work just yet. We're working, uh, we're waiting for that virtual machine setup to be ready, and then bounties will start working on Icon as well. So that's, that's what I would say would be phase two, uh, along with the NFT platform. Um, I'm pretty excited because I was uh, actually speaking to a Spartan node today, and they said um, they're more than happy to collaborate with us. So um, I'm really excited to talk with them uh, in regards to, you know, some ideas um, with, with Vibravid and NFTs uh, using Icon standards. So I'm stoked, man. I'm happy. That's that's great to hear. Icon Grafo, sorry. Yeah. And, it, and so you guys have a CPS uh, proposal pending at the moment. Uh, you just kind of want to give a bit of a rundown of what, that would kind of look like um and what the uh what stage it's in what what i guess what the timeline is as far as the voting is concerned right right so things are looking pretty good i think we've got uh, everyone voting yes and you know i want to give a real special thanks to fez and to uh the icon plus team uh because you know they went out there and uh after vetting us they went out to the p reps and 
you know, kind of explained to them what we were doing. And I think that uh, gave everyone confidence to vote yes for us. Uh, we did want to, you know, put a proposal out there to uh, to cover all our work. But at the same time, we said, you know what, um, uh, there's, there's a certain amount of funds and we want to earn those funds, but we got to earn the trust of the community first. So we put a um, proposal for generating the wallets first uh, and integrating into the system. So once we do that, I'm I'm more than confident that we're going to bring thousands and thousands of new icon wallets into the ecosystem. And then I'll have the merit to say, hey, guys, can we have some more funds so we can build this NFT thing and a few other components that we want? Because look what it's going to do for icon. So that's uh, kind of what our CPS is based on. And I'm um, I'm really excited and um, just kind of floored at the way the system works. It's truly decentralized. There's nothing like it. Uh, there's no politics to it <laughs> like there is in other chains. So I'm, I'm very grateful uh, for the CPS and uh, I'm really thankful for all the people who have voted yes and all the P-reps. And uh, yeah, we're excited. Team got started yesterday, um, got our chats all lined up, got the team lead and um, yeah, very happy. Well, do you have any uh, kind of you know, closing thoughts and anything you want to say to the icon community as far as uh, the project or CPS or whatever else it might be. Yeah, I just want to say, you know, thanks. Thank you for, you know, creating a system that actually works. And uh, I love the community out there, especially on Twitter. You know, they're some of the best that I've seen yet so far in this space. And I look forward to getting to know everyone. You know, I'd love to follow everyone who's, uh, you know, who's on icon. And um, I, I really hope that we can uh, kind of build a, a nice little future. I'm, I'm actually very confident about it. I'm very, very confident. And I, you know, I'm, I'm usually very conservative, but I know we're going to bring a ton of value to the ecosystem. We're, we're going to bring thousands of wallets. We're going to earn uh, the trust of the community, and we're really going to take it to the next level. So, um, yeah, that's <laughs> that's what I have to say. Uh, I. <laughs> that, that, that's, I kind of died. I kind of died out there. I was like, I was, I got, I was like, you know, like I had a sugar rush, and then I just kind of crashed there. Um, man, I, I'm just stoked, man. I'm, I'm just happy because I, I have had such, uh, real talk. I've had such bad experiences in in the blockchain space dealing with uh, other people, um, but then I've also dealt with really amazing people too. And um, ones that want to help, ones that care, ones that see value, Icon is one of those. So I'm extra motivated to make things happen and really bring value to the ecosystem. And I'm sure that there will be a time where people look back and say, man, happy that we got Vibravit on board and it was a great decision. <laughs> Love it. No, look, thank you, Alex, for coming on the show and, you know, running through everything that's vibrant. But I also want to thank you for the brutal honesty at times with different questions I've asked you. You know, you're very upfront. And even in all our conversations in the past, I can say you, you, you very much just say it as it is, which is uh, what I love as well. Everything doesn't go perfectly. Um, but overall, the best part takeaway I have is, you know, you have gotten product a product, you're trying to make it better, you, you do want to it to function across various chains. Um, the whole idea of CPS and everything that it envisions is for this very thing. It is to go, okay, it's not just new ideas, it is for people who have protocols running on other chains to go, well, can you bring it across? What do you need to make it happen? And this is a perfect example. So thank you for coming on, sharing your insights. I am looking forward to seeing the refresh and what it looks like. And then obviously after that, I'm looking forward to seeing the icon um, integrations, particularly the wallet and, and things that uh, transpire after that. So yeah, we'll definitely be updating the community. Uh, we're very excited. Uh, Steve and I, like like I said, we, we value transparency so much. We're an open book. Anyone can come from the Icon community into our Beatscoin room on Telegram, or you can find me on Twitter and ask whatever the heck you want. 
I'll tell you about all the great moves we've made, all the bad moves we've made, <laughs> what works, what doesn't work. I'll, I'll tell it all because in, in this space, um, it, it's all about experience and it's all about relationships. And that's the reason why, you know, I'm here and we're at this point where, you know, we see this light, you know, we see this, we're, we're at, in that tunnel and we can see the light at the end of the tunnel and that uh, light is success. And, uh, you know, Icon is, is part of that light. <laughs> yep. Excellent. Icon Graffa, any closing words? Nope. I'm uh, just another project I'm excited to keep an eye on and uh, watch it grow and develop and um, eventually come to fruition. Agree. There you, there you go, everyone. As always, if you've enjoyed the show, please like, subscribe, share it around. Alex, I'm going to rely on you to get this out there to the to the Beats Coin community, Vivavid community. So that's on you when I send through the link. But thank you again. Um, oh, you got it, bro. And and obviously, I, I need to join it. I can't believe I'm not part of the Telegram chat. My Telegram's just out of control these days. Um, but <laughs> thank you. Thank you for coming on and um, chat soon. Take care. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all.